Hello everyone and welcome to another at maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing SPM Clone 2003 Form 4 Chapter 6 Coordinate Geometry Short Question. Okay, before that, please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay, let me read the question now. The points A with the coordinate 2A, A, B with the coordinate B and C and C with the coordinate 2B and 3C lie on a straight line. Point B divides AC internally in the ratio 3 is to 4. So the question asks to express B in terms of C. So this is the overall question. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries. I'm going to show you the step by step working and the solutions now. So without further delay, let us start to solve this question. Okay, as usual, I'm going to write the solution under the question here. Okay, let us continue. So before you proceed to solve this question, I strongly encourage you to draw out the diagram guys. Okay, by the way, I've already completed the diagram for you. So please hold on for a moment. So let me copy paste this. Okay, so this is the completed diagram of the point A, point B, point C respectively. Okay, as mentioned by the question, point B divides the line AC internally in the ratio 3 is to 4. Okay, so I hope this diagram is clear for you. So with this diagram, we're going to proceed to solve this question. Okay, but before that, let me tell you something. So we're going to use the line segment formula guys to solve this question. Okay, if you don't know how to use the line segment formula, okay, the formula I've already set in the image on the right hand side. So you're going to use that as the reference. Okay. So let us continue to solve this question. Okay. To start off, we're going to solve the coordinate AC starting up with the X coordinate followed by the Y coordinate. Okay. And then we're going to compare with the coordinate B over here. So let us continue. So from here, 2A. Okay. 2A, you times it for ratio 4 plus with 2b you times with ratio 3 okay and then you divide with 3 plus with 4 in this case will be 7 okay let me underline this okay and then you have to compare with b all right so this is for the x coordinate okay now we proceed to the y coordinate okay so let us start a coordinate a you times it 4 plus with 3c you times with 3 okay and then you divide with 3 plus 4 which is 7 Okay, let me underline this. Okay, and then you compare with C over here. Okay, close bracket. So from here, let us start to solve one by one. Okay, let us start with X coordinate first. So from here, 8A plus with 6B over 7. So you'll get equals to B, okay, and then comma, 4A plus with 9C over 7 equals to C, close bracket. Okay, please hold on guys, okay, I will underline it now. Okay, so 7, you times it B, so from here you get 8A plus with 6B is equals to 7b okay comma so 4a plus 9c over 7 okay this 7 you times with c so from here you get 4a plus with 9c is equals to 7c okay so this step is normal guys till now okay so for the second step what we're going to do is we're going to form an equation a in terms of B because at the end we're going to express B in terms of C 
but then if you look in the equation over here you have three variables a b and c so to proceed to the next step what you need to do is you need to eliminate one of the variable okay in this case we choose to eliminate the variable a so we will choose uh, x coordinate okay so we'll use this okay so 8a is equals to uh, b okay because this 6b you move it over to the right hand side it will become negative 6b so 7b minus 6b so you get is b so 8a is equals to b so from here you get your a is equals to b over 8 okay so this will be your step 2 guys okay so what you're going to do is substitute a into the y coordinate so this will be our third step okay, like this. Oops. Okay. so from here 4a plus 9c is equals to 7c okay 4a is equals to negative 2c Okay, since you know that the a is equals to b over 8, so you substitute inside. So from here, you get 4 in a bracket, b over 8 is equals to negative 2c. Okay, the 4 you simplify, you get 1. Okay, the b you simplify, you get is 2. Okay, the 2 you times with negative 2c. So from here, you should get your b is equals to negative 4c. So this is your final answer, guys. Okay, let me box this out. Okay, so this is your final answer. So that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question. I hope you understand the full working that I've shown to you. If you like this video, please give your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. And also not to forget to share this video. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.